It's another big week for the Houston Cougars, one that shows them facing better competition, one that will allow them to prove that they can improve from their game last week. They can fix some of their mistakes. And there are certain players that I think will need to step up and stand out in order to make that happen. We'll also talk about the Texas Tech guys that they need to pay attention to. They definitely have those guys circled on the game report, on the game plan. And there's a lot of things to be excited about for Houston, but there's also things that we need to talk about that need to be addressed, that need to be fixed if they're going to beat Texas Tech. Now we're going to start with Clayton Toon. It seems kind of obvious, but that's exactly where we need to start because there's so many things around this. Clayton Toon last week, 206 yards, three touchdowns. He also rushed for 49 yards and a touchdown and had the go-ahead two-point conversion that ultimately won the game for Houston. It was great to see him do that. It was great to see him confident, throwing the football, running the football. However, one thing that he needs is better offensive line play. The too many times Clayton Drew is getting sacked or having to leave the pocket, and the offensive line simply needs to be better. That's just plain and simple. There's no, There's no – Working around it, there's no dancing around it. You have to have better offensive line play. That was unacceptable last week, even against a very talented UCSA team. But the fact that they had nine tackles for loss, four sacks, and four QB hurries means that there's a long way for this offensive line to go. Clayton Toon needs help. He needs to be able to sit back in the pocket, feel comfortable, and be able to throw the football. Because if he if he is Houston's going to be able to do a lot of exciting things against Texas Tech. Now, this is a talented Texas Tech defense that I think is really underrated, but I think Houston has the talent to be able to exploit them and show that they're the better team. Clayton Toon is going to be the, the place where that all starts because if they're able to keep him protected and keep him upright, then this offense is going to have a lot of success. However, if we're going to see a repeat of last week, it might be a long day. And you look at Clayton Toons definitely had this game circled after last year when they started off hot and then essentially just imploded. This is a game that they definitely wanted to redeem themselves. They wanted to get some redemption. They wanted to get revenge and show that last year it can it was just an anomaly. They can play better. They can play a complete game. And that all starts with protecting the quarterback. And if you're able to do that, you're going to be successful. If not, it's going to be another long night. And we're just going to get a repeat of 2021. Cedric Williams is, is my next guy. And obviously, you could pick anybody on that defensive line. Derek Parrish, Anthony Jones, Nelson Caesar were all phenomenal. But I think the interior of this defensive line is going to be the key. Now, Chidozi and Wonko, you could also put on here. And I would have no arguments. Cedric Williams, to me, is a guy I think Texas Tech is going to try to pick on because he is so new coming off his injury. I'm so excited to see him back. I'm glad that he was back uh, back playing. Had a pretty good game last week. Seven tackles, two tackles for loss, one sack. I think that the one thing that, that Texas Tech was able to do last year was run the football. Taj Brooks had 134 yards. He averaged 8.9 yards per carry and two touchdowns. I think that they're going to be able to slow things down a little bit better this year. I think that Senator Williams plays a big part in that because if they're not able to run up the middle, then they're going to have to resort to going sideline to sideline. And maybe that's a better option, especially with the tackling woes that we saw from Houston last week. But I think right now getting north and south is the quickest way that Texas Tech is going to want to try to attack. And a guy like Cedric Williams is going to determine how well or how uh, how much they fail in trying to do that. Last one is Matthew Golden. It could be Tank Dell. Tank Dell, I think we already know what Tank Dell is going to be after last week. He's going to be a stud. He's going to be the go-to guy for Clayton June. But Matthew Golden, to me, showed a couple things. First, he can make some really, really, really explosive plays. We saw the speed as a freshman in one of his catches. The other catches we saw, the other catch we saw was a sideline catch that where he, you know, was able to get his feet down. He bobbled a little bit, but was able to reestablish his, his hands on the ball and be able to make that catch. We also saw a drop that was not very good, but I think that he is going to be someone that is either going to exploit Texas tech uh, or it's going to be a long day for the passing attack. I would lean towards he's going to exploit them. He has such good big game potential. Everything that we've heard from his teammates, from the coaching staff, says this kid knows what he's doing. He knows how to play, and he knows how to be explosive. And with everybody focusing on Tank Dell, someone else needs to step up. 
If it's Matthew Golden, great. That bodes well for the future, too, for anybody else that's throwing in the football. If it's Joseph Manjack, great. We've seen a lot of options for Houston. I think that's something that's really exciting, something different than last year. And a guy like Matthew Golden, this could be a breakout game for him. If Texas Tech schemes to take away tank down, says everybody else is going to beat us, a guy like Matthew Golden is going to see more catches. He's going to see the ball more, and that gives him more opportunities to exploit this defense and showcase what he's capable of doing and put the whole college football world on notice. Now, when we go to Texas Tech, these are guys that I – I believe that Houston has to pay attention to. Now, Taj Brooks could be a guy, but I think Donovan Smith is someone that is going to give them maybe a little bit more trouble because he's going to touch the ball every single play. I think that they know that Houston struggled run, stopping the run last year, and I think it's something that, that Houston is going to try to address. Now, if Donovan Smith is a good runner. I think that he is going to be someone they need to pay attention to. He's also efficient passing the football. We saw that last week. Obviously, it was against Murray State, so you can't take that uh, without a grain of salt. But I think it's someone that they want to get after. You saw them get after Frank Harris, and you saw them struggle to, to stop Frank Harris at times, too. Donovan Smith could provide that same frustration, but also this is such a good front seven that I think that they could also take him and his mindset out of a good mindset and put him into a bad one. That shifts momentum into Houston's favor. That's something that really – votes well for them and I think that that makes their defense successful and it's going to limit what Texas Tech is going to do offensively now the other guy on the other side of the ball Tyree Wilson this is someone that I've been seeing more and more people talk about in terms of being an NFL prospect and I think that he is someone that could give Houston plenty of trouble we talked about those offensive line struggles a guy like Tyree Wilson is someone that gives Houston trouble. He is someone that disrupts the interior. The interior defense or offensive line for Houston has been a big problem for the last few years, whether they've been good or not. I think that that's something that if Tyree Wilson has his way with that group, this is going to be a long night for Houston, or at least Clayton Toon is going to be very tired. How they handle protecting Clayton Toon, especially up the middle, is going to go a long way in determining how successful they are. Tyree Wilson last week, six tackles, two tackles for loss, and half a sack. Someone that really needs to be blocked, someone that really needs to be taken out of the game, taken away from trying to get after Clayton Toon, and someone that, if he has success, is going to make life very difficult for this offensive line. He's going to make things difficult for Clayton Toon because it doesn't matter if his receivers are open. If he doesn't have time to throw, he's going to be on his butt or running for his life, and Houston doesn't want that. Now, Houston, to me, is in a different place than they were last year. Texas Tech, however, is also in a different place. So that's what makes this matchup so interesting. I think it's a very close game, and there's a few things that could swing it one way or another. But I think right now, Houston knows what they need to do to win. They survived last week, and they're going to be able to refocus, regroup, and find a way to beat a Texas Tech team that is hoping to be better. But right now, I think that they have more questions than Houston does. And that's why I would lean Houston. That's how they're going to win the game is being able to take advantage of some of those those disadvantages that Texas Tech has. They have uh, plenty of talent to be able to utilize and some of those depth players that could play a big role in determining the outcome.